Hello, let's talk about tree traversals. About traversal in binary trees. Okay, what does it mean, tree traversal? It, uh, it means that you need to visit uh, the nodes of the tree in some, some way. And the, every node we need to visit once. So there are many ways of doing this, I think. Mm, if we have tree with n nodes, uh, there are n factorial ways to visit uh, each node ex exactly once. But uh, there are three special ways of doing this. Uh, they call in order, pre order, and post order. What this mean? If we have some tree, we have a nodes in it, and for example, pre order means that we, we take this tree, we take a node of this tree, and first of all we visit the uh, root node of this tree and later we visit all other nodes and this is why it's called pre-order uh, post-order uh, uh, means that we uh, take our root and uh, visit it at the end, at the post, post, post order. And in order means that uh, we take everything from the left of our tree. Uh, when the, we, ta we take our root, we visit it. And after that, we visit all right of tree. So we in. In, it, in our nodes, all left from the left before the root, all right sub, uh, sub nodes are for at the right of the node. Um, and uh, let's, uh, let's implement this function in Haskell. Okay, in the previous video, we already defined a binary tree. Uh, with this uh, polymorphic type uh, of kind star to star and uh, the binary tree is either leaf which contains a node of type A or a node which contains type of A and two trees left and the right tree so <coughs> Let's start from the pre-order pre -order function. And first of all, I define its type. Its type, it's take a b, b, b tree, binary tree of A and it uh, gives me a list of A. So, in some order no, nodes. In it it uh, returns me a note in pre order. Okay, uh, and let's start from corner case if we have a leaf of some node. <laughs> and obviously, we can see that uh, we need to return A here a list of only one element because there is no other elements. But if we have case then uh, the, uh, the tree constructed with the node constructor uh, and we mark uh, value A, left subtree of L and right subtree of R and in this case uh, we <laughs> we need to uh, we need first of all take our A 
we need to put uh, in our resultant list at first. So I'll create a list from one element of this A and then I need to add all other nodes from the left and the right side of the tree. And this is obviously simple. I need to run my function for left subtree and for right subtree, I think. Okay. <coughs> and uh, and I think uh, this should work. Let's save it and try to compile this. To need some clearing. see that this compiles and now I need to check this that this work but I think it, it, it will work let's uh, let's write other type of uh, ordering of traverse in the tree uh, then there are two of them uh, first of first is Next is in order, and it exactly the same ordering. It exactly works the same way, but it 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 at, at the at the first it um, traverses the left subtree then tra traverse uh, the node itself and the next is the right subtree and we can see that our node in in here between these two subtrees and the other and the last one is post order post mean what they need at our root at last so i just need to Pass it to the last. Mm -hmm. Of course, I need to change here and here and change it here and here. And I think uh, we do all of them. Let's try to compile. Okay, and they need to check that this works. And let's uh, create uh, create some trees. First tree, I will call it tear L. It will it, it will be a node which contain uh, some numbers one and uh, then it contains some lists two and three okay and uh, and uh, also uh, i want to create some right subtree with some other numbers i will take four five six and on top of that I create our final context tree which is a node with 7 as a value and tear L from the left and tear L from, from the right so I think you can imagine this tree and let's let's reload our model and 
should uh, run our functions, ordering functions on this tree. So I just run pre-order to R. And we can see that our function take this tier tree which has a 7, a value 7 at the root and we can see this 7 here because we use pre-order this means that our root goes first and all other trees goes to the next <coughs> and if I run if I run in order for this tree you can see that our 7 is in the middle in, in ordering ok and let's try our last function post order post order where do you think our 7 goes yes it goes to the end because post at the end root at the end and all subtrees at the left so guys I think that's all about ordering about traversing trees binary trees in Haskell thanks for watching push like button push subscribe button write comments and see you later bye